Hi everybody, this is Vicki. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like this video and check out other videos as well. I upload Dollar Tree hauls on Sunday and all other videos on Wednesday. However, due to low viewage, I have been combining my thrift hauls with my Dollar Tree hauls. And I show the thrift hauls first then the Dollar Tree. So if you aren't crazy about what I find at a thrift store, you may definitely skip ahead to the Dollar Tree stuff. For those of you who are subscribers or returning visitors, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm doing this one kind of later in the day. I mean, it's like after 6.30 right now, a lot later than I usually do it. But I was unable to do it earlier, and I wanted to get this video done so I can put the stuff away. All right, so I'm going to start out with the boring stuff. Now, I picked this up. Savers has these bags with diff in different departments for crafts, kitchen, home decor, whatever. So I thought and baby and I thought for sure that my daughter might use this little bag but I saw she has a container so she doesn't really need this so I'll probably end up just selling this in my booth so the next thing I have not opened this yet I won't need these but for $2.99 I'm assuming these are doilies so I can't wait to open these up and take a look at them these look like coasters so that might be coasters. I cannot pass up on these metal bowls. Um, they're not, let's see, I'm gonna, they're not your typical, like clean Christmas type thing. Okay, and this one, I only picked it up for, the little cat tin. I thought that was just so adorable. So I picked that up. Normally, I would not spend $10 at Saver. Oops, we are stuck. But I thought these were really pretty. You can tell they are vintage. Um, there is, there's a little hook up here. And where did I see it? Oh, it said made in Italy. So that is why I bought these. My daughter's father's side of the family has some Italian heritage, so that's why I bought them. Okay, this cute little vase I bought to use for a project. I wanted, you know, like for the outdoor garden thing. Now, of course, you won't be able to put anything heavy on this. It's going to have to be lightweight, but it can be. I also picked up these cute little dishes to use as flowers. This is, looks, I think this is a paperweight. It's hollow on the inside, but I liked the shape of it. All right, this I looked at, it, I don't think it's Mod Podged. I think this is the way it was purchased. I could be wrong, but I think this is the way it was purchased. This I thought was really cute. I don't know what style that is, but I liked it. Picked up a bunch of marbles. Um, I actually have a bunch more that I picked up that I did not show you. They're in these bags and I bought them. If I don't use them for outdoor decor, I'll definitely use them like in a jar or something. And I got plenty of these, whoops. There's some frosted ones in there. So I need to go through these, especially this one. Somebody put some in here. And what I'm doing is putting them in Ziplocs. I got plenty of jars. I probably should take advantage of it, but I like separating them. That's the reason I put them in jars. Now, this is something else, too. I they call it his and her con bridal confetti, I guess, but they look like gemstones. So I picked up that color and the clear. I also picked up this to use with solar lights. I may have to do a little um, adding as far as to fill in the hole more but that is why I bought that I thought I could paint that black and use it for that picked up this cute lamp made sure that it worked I think it is adorable also picked up a Snoopy mug I 
could not pass up on that. I love, I'm sorry, Scooby. I love Scooby-Doo as a child and so did my daughter. This is a definitely a bell. I just thought it would be cute whoop, to pick up and put on top of whatever art garden ornament that I do. And of course I picked up some little plates. I'm not showing you the, whoops. The price is on these. This one I thought was unusual. Very unusual. And of course, this one is pretty. Now, and I picked up, I think, four of these. And I can't remember. It's upside down. I can't remember who I, how many I got. I think there's four or five. And then, of course, this one. There it is, a dollar. Now, I did forget to show you. Let's see. Huh. There, oh, there it is. Five dollars, as is, it did work. I made sure that they plugged it in. And the mug. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did go to, I guess I forgot. I went to a flea market. And I was okay to buy that. I didn't, I may not have paid attention or remembered the price. So uh, there's a, that I think is the only thing I got at the flea market. Um, I also picked this up at the thrift store. Solar light is gonna go on that. Same with these candle holders. Now this actually has a label on the bottom that says recycled glass, handmade, in Spain uh, they I found some clear ones but I was so glad because they they're terrible about keeping pieces together it's like they just place them wherever they want on the shelf I found so many plate sets separated this is one big disappointment I did not see this massive chip right here so I got to try and file that down a little bit um, I got it for $10, more than I probably should have paid for it based on the chip. I wish I had seen the chip because really, I would not have bought it. That's my bad for not paying attention. I would not have bought that. And these, of course, I got for Yard Art because they are egg holders, uh, devil egg holders, and they do make great flowers. This I saw at a different thrift store. It had a chip in it. I was disappointed. And then, then I found this one. I think that is so cute. It is a candle holder, but you probably can use some for something else. Could not pass these up. I think these are gorgeous. This, of course, caught my eye and I was okay to pay it. It's got an iridescent to it, but it's not real bright. Okay, so now that that's done, on to the Dollar Tree stuff. There are some items I did not put for this thrift haul because they're pretty plain. I mean, they're plainer than this. So I just left those out and I've bought them before. Um, also, I bought yarn at the thrift store that I did not show you for this either. All right, so Dollar Tree. I thought this was really cute. I didn't see anything else. I thought about giving it to my daughter, but I don't know if she's into this. I am also made a mistake of leaving this stuff in my car for two days. So I hope the heat did not get to it. I also picked up these Ultimate White. And this I was definitely planning to give to my daughter. I've seen these hauled before. I did not buy them, but this time I did. So hopefully it will sell. Uh, these are for home. I liked the, the, what do you call it on the side? The, I like the design kind of like a farmhouse style, really pretty blue wood. I guess you call that egg nest blue. I did pick up another one of these. I'm gonna just figure out if, I'm thinking about combining the brush heads that come with it and selling it as a combination. I think whoever bought it, the last one, didn't maybe didn't realize that they all came together. So I might pull those from my, my booth and combine them all together and sell them that way. I thought for sure that whoever bought the last one would want the replacements, but that didn't happen. 
Okay, so since I'm in Arkansas and occasionally we do have power outages, I went ahead and picked up some flashlights. Now these are LED, they can clip on. Okay, there it is. So I picked up a red one and a black one. I also picked up, I'm just gonna, th I'm thinking about selling one of these. I thought this was pretty good. And I also picked up this one. Just takes two or three, let's see, what is it? Three double A's. Yes, three AA batteries. You can hang it, which is nice. It should be pretty powerful. All right, as you can see, I picked up some envelopes to add to what I got. I picked up another pen. I was thinking about giving this one to my daughter. I don't know yet. I'm not, I think I was gonna give it to her. I'm not gonna sell it. I did pick up one of these. I looked at it and thought, oh, do I really want that design? And I thought, well, it would make a good background or a good, you know, maybe even in a, you know, tray, bottom on a tray. I don't know. So a while back, I, when I got into this, looking more and more into this garden art, I, somebody had posted about Dollar Tree skewers. I never found them, not once. And then I went to that Dollar Tree in another city that's about an hour and 40 minute drive from here and I found them. So I picked up four of these. So I've got a total of 16. I've been, I read that these are pretty sturdy and these are longer than the ones I got at Dollar Tree. So let's see if it tells you. Hmm. I don't know why I'm looking up there. So here's the skew, but I'm not seeing anything about how long it is. But I want to say it's definitely more than 12 inches from here to the point. It's definitely more than 12 inches. Okay. I know that now that them being $1.25, I mean, it's still a good deal, but in some ways it may not be. But I picked up some more of the chenille. I don't think I have any of these particular colors, so I picked them up. I also found some new pretty bottles. So I picked up two of those. This Dollar Tree had the $5 spot. So I picked up this color changing Himalayan, mini Himalayan salt lamp. So let's, and this one's USB. That's I'm not sure. I was hoping it would either take batteries or be a plug-in, but I may have to buy a wall plug for it to do USB. And the last thing is, I, I think this is a new design. I've not seen it before. So I picked up probably like 16 of these. So yeah, I spent a lot of money on Friday between fam or, uh, Dollar Tree savers that did not include the day before going to that flea market, um, which I didn't spend too much there other than that, mostly that cup. I mean, I did buy some stuff, but they were a little cheaper. Anyway, um, I think, I'm pretty sure I have this, but I went ahead and picked up another one. Now, this is also brand new. These are $1.25 each. This is not a Greenbrier brand. There's two different designs. These are flower sack. I picked up one of those and I picked up, this is Joseph A. This one says, my kitchen, my rules. And there's a black one. This is time to order takeout. And there's these also, They're kind of a beige with green stripes. Two package, this one's, I guess you call it a plaid, but again, pack and this is really to me an odd design it might look better outside of the packaging and this one too I thought that was kind of odd um, yes and in case you're wondering what that flashing is that my ceiling fan is on high it's warm in here 
All right, everyone, that is it for this haul. I hope you liked everything you saw. I hope that you keep coming back. I hope you subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.